Hello and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Minecraft Feed the Beast using the Refugee to Regent Challenge. Well, from this vantage point, you can see the, uh, the Elder House uh, that we just uh, started. Got a little bit more structure on it, uh, but not too, too much more. Uh, this is actually another vantage point that we haven't seen before. You can see the Elder Tree. Uh, with the um, scaffolding next to it. And that's my house there. That middle room is a room I haven't shown you yet. That's my study. Uh, has a has a few desks and books and things like that. And we are heading off on an adventure. We are... Ah, crap. We have this little gap issue again. And this one's quite quite ooh, don't go in there quite extensive as nothing else seems to be loading so i am going to cautiously oh there we go cautiously move forward uh so what i am doing uh one of the challenges for in the one of the parts of the feed the beast challenge uh in the refugee to region challenge and nothing's loading hold on give me a second here Uh, just trying to see if the terrain generates it. But what I was saying, um, in the uh, Refugee to Region Challenge, one of the challenges is to build a uh, another uh, another village. Second village to uh, the one you're using. Uh, they call it an outlier. Uh, it has to be at least uh, 50 blocks away. And I think this one is going to be... Well, I'm crossing an ocean. If you see there, that's an ocean biome. Uh, oceans can be quite extensive, let, let's say. So, oh, hello. I was going to say, so there's a chance that we won't ever see land again. But, uh, as you can see, we have just encountered land. And I'm wondering if this is so slow because it's actually generating terrain. Because this looks like new area completely. Red sky. Where are we? It's a mesa. Mesa. Like black mesa. Except in this case, red. Yes, thank you. I knew that already. Achievement get mesa. This is a gorgeous place. Look at this stone. So, let's see. Where's my pick? What does this look like? Red... <laughs> Red Rocky Mountain High, because we got Red Rock Cobblestone. Hell yeah. This is, um, beautiful. That's really, really, really nice terrain. And this material for a building material is going to give us a little bit of a, a color difference. Um, did I break my boat? No, my boat's down there. All right, I'm going to go grab my boat, take it with us. Um, ooh, rain. That's a mesa. Does it get affected by rain? No, because it's a dry environment. Lovely. I like it. Rain is still loud and annoying. Uh, and I'm just uh, doing a little bit of exploration here. And what our goal is, is to find a nice place for a village. So that's, that outcropping there is pretty good. And we have a bee. I don't have any wool on me. Uh, we have a bee hive out there. No, I just heard a, a little puff on my microphone. I'm uh, aiming my mouth in the wrong way. Um... I'm trying to get this audio system set up better and also uh had to record recording is a bit of a challenge for us that don't uh do this professionally um what am i saying i'm basically i'm rambling here just trying to talk while doing two things at once um 
But when you don't do this professionally, you don't necessarily have the background to know how to set up the microphone uh, for what you want to personally do. In my case, I'm obviously recording... Uh, you Oh, no. YouTube videos at the same time as I'm recording. Uh, some people do this with voiceovers. A lot of us um, do this uh, just as we as we record uh, because I find that uh, that's a hell of a lot more interesting and if I was to do a, a voiceover of my recordings I would not be doing this I'd be so bored out of my mind oh that's what are those purple plus you wouldn't get reactions like <laughs> you wouldn't get reactions like what are those purple things um I'm going to have to go down there too this is a, a nice, a nice area. Uh, yeah, so I'm still working with getting my setup set up. Um, so that's going to be a challenge, and we'll tweak this as we go along. What the heck is that? You see that? It must be one of those artist magic things, because that won't... Um, that won't generate naturally. So I'm guessing it's an Ars Magica something underground, and that just generated in the middle of everything here. It's not bad. I'm just going to go over here, take a look, and see. So these... These scaffolds... Um, if I can do it, can I not do it? There we go. For some reason that wasn't uh, going. These scaffolds can be used as a, as a bridge as well. Uh, normally they would fall down, uh, be but because they're attached to a scaffold at either end, uh, there's not a problem. They only go, so if you do this, they can only go over two without having another something there. Uh, in this case, this was, oops, only four wide, so uh, didn't need to worry about that much at all. This is a nice area for a new little bit. So, uh, as I mumble into the mic there, which I'm trying not to do, thank you very much, um, I... Huh, I'm just looking for a good, good spot to, uh... And there's another biome out that way. Oh, green grass. Uh, good spot to uh, start a base. Now, this uh, this mesa biome actually might not be the best place for us. Um, I think because that area is flat there, it'll be easy to build on. Um, the whole question is, what will this outlier uh, outlying settlement uh, be used for? Uh, so you have to take that into account when you're... Uh, doing this. Oh, that's a nice river. Damn rain. Too much rain. So, yeah, we're here at night, and there's lots of... That looks like it's whole... Parts of it are at least lit up inside. So I am going to investigate. I don't see any... Ow, ow. No, I saw that... I saw those before. I think I didn't... I haven't seen those, uh, cacti. Um before, but I have. Oh, and I got this Power 3 bow off of a uh, skeleton. This is uh, the first one that I've seen that has so much uh, durability. Oh, that's nice. That was a good... Uh, good... Oh, ouch. Ow. Okay, I have to be more careful. So part of this is in the river biome. So this is right above the river here. Uh, it must have built up the, uh, the ground when it placed the, uh, uh, placed the, uh, building. Now, oh, oh, crap. Creeper. Okay. A mana creeper. Blue mana creeper. Blue mana creeper is not going to survive. There we go. Uh, I think that's an Ars Magica 
uh, mob. Well, I hear skeletons. Let, 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 let's just, um, turn down the particles. So we don't have to listen to that. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was a red, uh, it's on the, uh, Okay, those skeletons must be underneath me. I hear nothing but them. It, those guys were on the, uh, the cacti. Um, so I was saying... Probably... Oh, there's a skeleton right there. Hi! Alright. Oh, crap! No! No, I don't want to fall! Where'd you come from? Oh, he's probably that guy. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, you guys almost saw one of my many deaths. Let's just get up and see. I've got to check out those purple things. Now, since this building seems to be mostly, mostly featureless, I mean, there's not, there's not much there. Um, that's the only feature there in the center. And it doesn't seem to have any entrance from the side. So I'm wondering if this would normally spawn underground or or something like that. Oh, jeez. And this is apparently wide enough. And that mobs will spawn on the other side. If you wander away. Let's just... Get these guys. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, flailing my cutlass, which apparently is a, a rare, so that pattern that I found is a, a fairly rare pattern for uh, Tinker's Construct. Uh, you can't make it in the stencil table, you have to find it. Uh, so that was uh, really good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. None of this we can go through normally. Because that's what you get with Ars Magica. You can't break these things. Sometimes you need a, a spell to see through things. Okay, that zombie's coming for me. Although he fell. I'll just let him, let the angry zombie be. Don't know why he's angry. Um, these are up down, upside down stairs and they add actually a nice little... At least I think they're upside down stairs. They, they might actually be... Um, Let's take a look. I can see it from down here. Yeah, upside down stairs. Yeah, add a nice level. Crap, that sounded like it was to my right. Where is there anybody up here? Yes, there is. Okay, good thing I uh, investigated. Otherwise, I might have been surprised by an enemy. Oh, I was surprised by an enemy. Did not expect this guy to be down there. Ooh, hello. Um, that guy has glasses. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like this hats mod. Um, they do have a bit of some weird hats, but when you see a guy just with glasses wandering around, Heathland. Interesting. So that's what where we are. Does that mean these little purple bushes are heath? Uh, not. There's a switch. Hello. Okay. There's bricks this way. I think. I'm gonna try break this. Yeah. No. This. No. Okay. Those magic lighty thingy. So what did that open? There is obviously an entrance. Must be pistons in the walls back there. So hmm. I am I do not have a helmet, so I need to go find one. Uh, that's one of the rules of the challenge. You can't actually... You're actually forbidden 
from doing anything uh, without a helmet. No, from going underground without a helmet, really. So I have to stay out on the surface. Um, uh, until I get a helmet. So what I am actually doing is I'm looking around for cattle. Cows make great helmets. And I have two leather on me already. And this skeleton is going to attack. Uh, actually, I think in this stage of the game, you basically have to have a helmet on you at all times. So, uh, that's what I'm going to try to do, is I'm going to try to watch an Enderman get zappadied by rain, and either make my way back home, which I may get lost trying to get back to, or find some cattle, which I don't see yet, um, and, uh, get some leather for a helmet. Yeah, my other armor is also, uh, running a bit low. Where's my shovel? Oh! Bloody hell. Wow. Huh, that would have been terrible. Okay. Morning is nice. Too bad it took me all night to get here. Yeah, I was hearing footsteps. So, ah. So, these are... Jack-a-randa sapling. Jack-a-randa. Cool. All right. Okay, so... We found this this uh, heathland. We found that mesa, and we got a jacaranda sapling to add to our uh, arboretum. I do believe the jacaranda sapling must be a uh, part of biomes of plenty because if it was natura, it'd only be sparsely here and there. Um, unless I'm wrong, which I very may, may well be. But at this point in time, if I am to follow the challenge properly, and I'm not seeing any cattle, let's just take a little bit of a further look. We should be fairly safe on the surface. Um, but I'm not seeing any cattle, uh, which would mean we'd be able to stay out here a little bit longer. Um, uh, looks like I have to go back. And, uh, what's that? I'm seeing blue things. It's just in my nature to investigate things like that. Oh, it's it's water. I thought it was just at the... And that's going down a deep, deep bit, which I'm glad I did not end up in. What's that? Oh, that's a spider. Um, so, no cows. Maybe this is a... This is a animal eating uh, location. No cows, no pigs, no sheep. Um, a few holes that I probably shouldn't, uh, fall in. I got a great wood tree. That was hard to get. For some reason, it just wasn't dropping. When I was trying to harvest, uh, the great wood trees before, uh, no rain. Uh, they just were not dropping, um, they just were not dropping, um, saplings. That's what I think of. Saplings. I'm just gonna stretch and go and see if we can see anything else exciting in this direction. Hopefully cows and that was an enderman. I keep on thinking um, those obsidian pillars are endermen. That's the obsidian pillar. Enderman was on the ground. That's the enderman. Don't look directly at him. What's that? What is that? Yeah. Enderman. Okay. Desert Nova. On to Desert Nova. I should probably start uh, some sort of uh, flower farm and just try to... Or flower farm. Flower garden. Flower garden. And just try to uh, display some flowers. Okay. Well... This is Moby's Rex, lost in the uh, heathland, looking for 
something to kill for the clouds. Um, I thought I saw a little hut over there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.